Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Hoshizaki Technical Training. I'm Robert Jones. Today, we're going to cover the KM Thermistor Operations, Diagnostics, and Installation. First, let's go over the operation of the KM Thermistor. This thermistor is looking for a 48 degree suction line temperature coming back to the control board. This is what takes it out of a harvest and into a freeze cycle. It is also a high temperature safety sensor. If the evaporator reaches 127 degrees, it will give you a one beep alarm. Next, we're going to diagnose a possible faulty thermistor. To test to see if a thermistor is faulty, Use a volt ohm meter and a glass of ice water. First, disconnect the thermistor from the K3 terminal located on the control board. Next, place the thermistor in a glass of ice water for two to three minutes. A thermistor will read 4.7 to 6.2 K ohms. If the ohm reading is outside of the range or if the multimeter displays OL, the thermistor will need to be replaced. This can cause a one or two beep alarm for more information on KM alarms, see the link in the description box. Lastly, we're going to install the new thermistor, but before we do so, we want to make sure to remove the thermistor holder from the copper tube and any and all excess heat compound residue. Uh, you can use scotch bright or sandpaper to clean the surface. Next, we want to apply the heat sink compound to the copper tube. Insert the thermistor and secure the assembly with the tape included. We want to carefully reroute the thermistor wiring back to the K3 terminal on the control board and then also re-insulate the area around the thermistor on the suction line. Thank you for joining us today with Hoshizaki Technical Training. For more information, you can contact us at Hoshizaki Technical Support.